Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing the Talos Principle. And, uh, if you don't know, probably because I've never told you, but, uh, I use OBS to record, and I use F9 to start recording, and F10 to stop recording. So every time I would stop recording, it would bring me here to the menu. And, uh, I decided, you know, I was gonna go and look and see if I could change the key, but I've, I've changed my mind. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, because it doesn't really make a difference. But, uh, I did notice some interesting things. There is a secondary fire... up here. And then there is an also... a, uh, uh, fast forward. Both of these are not bound. I'm not sure what they're for, though. So... It is also interesting to know that there's a third person view, and we can also reset the puzzle, so that's good to know. But, yeah, not sure what secondary fire would be for, or why... W when we would use fast forward. Interesting. But it is also good to know that there is a way to pip to nah, to pause the game. But I don't seem to have a pause key on my keyboard. At least not one that I can find anywhere. So let's let's change it to the classic. Let's change it to uh Okay, I don't know how to change keys. Oh well. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to change keys, I don't know. Well, then why would there be ones with nothing assigned to them? I don't know. Anyway, I did see that there is a zoom. Okay, so I hold middle mouse button. Interesting. Still don't know what makes that weird buzzing sound. Let's check what this is. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it. Which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but... Somehow it seems important to keep talking. To keep thinking. For as long as I can. Interesting. Um... Oh, here it is. I was trying to find this thing here. I wonder if there's gonna be any impossible geometry yet. Hall of Windows. What's making that buzzing sound? It's really disconcerting. Wait a minute. I do that instead. Are there any enemies? Hmm, no. Yeah, because I can't take it from this side. But I can't progress. If I do this, it's probably gonna be another jammer. Alright, well. Let's do that. And I'm betting... Well, no, that wouldn't make sense, because then we could just get the piece and go. Oh, duh. Block it from this side. Then do that. Oops, come on. Now we can get it. That took me way longer than Good. Should've. You are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. <laughs> QR code? that weird, like, glitch buzzing sound. I like this music, though. Okay, let's go in this one. Suicide mission.
that thing shoot that thing? How far does that thing come out? Yeah, there's no way I can go past it. Maybe... Ah-ha! Forgot to jam it. Oh, man. Forgot to jam it. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Ah, so the robots do not like the guns. Interesting. Strange. Can I turn this off now? Whatever. <laughs> That's a cool sound effect. Man, there's a lot of eye candy around here. That scared me. Interesting. Wonder what's up with that. Guards must be crazy. Oh, that's gonna be bad. If I don't move. Hmm, don't think I can do anything about that just yet. What about... Oh, is the guards must be crazy a reference to the gods must be crazy? like this, right? Let's see... Is there anything else for me to do in this area? Surely I'm missing something, right? No? Oh, here's a QR code. I can't tell if the documents on the terminals are all that's left from a larger archive? or are carefully designed to communicate some hidden truth. Is this like... I don't know who's written those. <laughs> the sign's falling off. That's a clever touch.
Okay, part two of the certification program has now been generated. Part two has been designed to test the consistency of some of your out- sorry, some of your outlier responses in the previous round. You'll be presented with a series of statements. Please indicate your agreement where appropriate. Uh, oh, I almost tried to type shift Y for yes. Uh, forget that I have to select down here. Since all human beings are persons, and some human beings have psychological capacities similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. That's... strange. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Value is discovered. I'm not even sure what that means! Persons deserve the talents they were born into. That's a strange one. I don't even know what that means either. The liberty of persons ought to be maximized. Uh, value is created. Uh, maybe? <laughs> That's a strange question. You will now receive a notification when your user profile has been generated. Those are all strange questions, I don't know what to think of them. Like, without context, they don't really make much sense. Okay. Let's check out the error log. The day I oft remember when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed. Under a shade on flowers, much wondering where I- uh, sorry, where, and what I was, whence filter brought, and how. Okay, so, something I've been warning about is how much of this is, you know, like, old scriptures and stuff that have been around in actual human culture for years, and how much of this is made specifically for this game. Because it seems like a bit of both. I've seen some of, like, Greek mythology and other things that seem familiar. And, uh, then there's some stuff that I'm not so sure about. But I think most of it might be pre-existing stuff from human culture. The human machine. One day, you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real, no one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you're a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Yeah. Does your understanding of the world itself change? Maybe? That's... I don't even know how to answer that question. I don't even understand what that question is asking. Do you reveal the information to others, or do you keep it to yourself? Um... I guess it just depends on if you're curious about why you're a machine. Because if you- if you have- if you're not really curious and it doesn't make a difference to you, then there's no reason to reveal to others, except for maybe, uh... I don't know. Plus... Well, depending- because, like, if there was no way to tell, then people might think you were crazy, but if you could actually go and get tested and a doctor- they could perform surgery and see that, yes, you are a machine, then yeah, you would tell somebody, right? It all depends on context. That's, like, just- there's not enough information to answer these questions. Oh, it's an essay prompt. <laughs> no extensions will be granted. Oh... <laughs> Okay, what about... our solutions?
All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reserves of serenity. Though these latter-day Gudamas are at least being somewhat realistic. Wait, Guadamas? I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they gonna do? Shoot blah? Though, I have to admit, the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Blah. Anyway, the reason I'm writing this is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we put all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. Are they talking about... some sort of... singularity? Like... Like, robots taking over the world or something? Or AI? I don't know. Not clear yet. Um... Seems to be all that's here, so let's hit exit. Candy. But I like it. It's weird how it lets you kind of like sort of jump up, but not really. It, like, fakes you out, you know? Feels like a place where I woke up. What was that sound? I feel like stuff might be like glitching near me when that happens, and I'm just not looking in the right direction. Or maybe because I have all the graphics loaded that I can't even see the glitchiness. what this is called? An amphitheater. An amphitheater. Something like that. Oh yeah, is there fall damage? It appears there is not fall damage. That's good to know. Or maybe I have to jump from really high for it to happen. Wait a minute. This is where I just was, right? Have I done everything here, I guess? I don't know, let's- I guess I have to go back into the big hallway, the- the temple or whatever. And, uh, see. Or maybe the signs will tell me up here. Yeah, what is this- these little- this little star? Is that- Cause I've seen the star in the demo, but is that what playing the demo does? It unlocks getting stars? That would be kind of strange. Yeah, it says we've gotten everything in there. Alright. Oh wait, no, it was this way. Are there any of these that we can do? No, that's that one. No, that's that one. What about over here? Yeah, this one's doable. I'm not really sure if we want to. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. Oh, okay. 
Okay, this will work. Interesting. Okay, I guess I would call the elevator, right? Do we want to use this? So we're on negative one. So we're one floor below ground level, and then I guess zero is ground level, right? Oh well, let's try it. You have it. proven yourself worthy, child. And this gate shall be forever open to you. Achievement unlocked into Seek the unknown. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery, and bring glory to your kind. But remember, you must not ascend the Great Tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. Twelve. See, this is the stuff that I think is, uh, Greek mythology, or Roman mytho- it's either Greek, Roman, or something. I don't know, but I've, I've learned some of this stuff from just plain aging mythology. <laughs> um, twelve, the Council of Zeus. I think Zeus is Greek, right? Not Roman? Eh, whatever. The great bronze bulls pulled the carriage forward, mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils. Finally, they came to the gates at the top of Blah. Here assembled were all the many generations of the gods, and demigods, and souls of mortals, steel and bronze and iron, and memory of flesh. The clouds parted far beneath, revealing the beautiful plan plains of Macedon, where great gleaming cities had once blah. <laughs> Professor Dr. Armin Hulak, The Fall of the Roman Empire, a dialectal sorry, dialectical approach. Interesting. Having two prefixes? Professor Doctor. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that in real life yet. Caption. Huh. <coughs> oh man, this episode's way over. I'm gonna read this and end the episode. I wasn't paying attention to the time at all. Uh, sorry. But, interesting as such perspectives of the decline and ultimate dissolution of the Roman Empire may be, they ultimately put too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question that must be asked is why the Roman Empire, which had dealt with so many threats and catastrophes over the years, was so incapable of responding to these later problems. We must investigate the division of wealth, the structure of government, the location of power in Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome still have fallen? What was the role of debt and slavery in creating the conditions for what we now call the Dark Ages? Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day. It didn't fall in a day, either. To register for the glass, please email blah. Well guys, thanks for watching! As always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!